Hello to this video on customizing your exchange. This video will cover all the options possible with the enter edit mode button in the bottom left of the screen available from an admin account. Our initial changes are going to be concerned with strings, the text that is visible on your exchanges pages. To start with, my exchange here only has English as a default language but I'm going to add two more with this settings button. First, we'll add German, and then also Korean, and confirm that. Now, from our All Strings page, we can use the drop-down menu to change between our added languages on the right and compare them with the others on the left. So for our first change here, we're going to search for sign out as I want to change this to log out on the sidebar here. From the filtered list, click the string and then enter the different text into the field, noting we can change it for all languages we have here. And we can see that that change has happened instantly. Another option we have is by finding the string, we want to change directly on the page itself. Using the blue pen icon beside the string we want to change, this will open the same menu as before, and here I'm simply going to change the string market to marketplace. Again, this change is instant. Next up, we are going to play around with our themes, the overall color scheme of our exchange. By default, we have a dark and a light mode, toggleable by this button on the header here. We're going to start by just doing a single edit to our existing dark theme. So I will choose the theme option here in the middle, find the dark theme, click its name to open the editing menu for it. Here I will change the top bar navigation element to a dark grey by clicking this coloured circle and using the color picker to easily choose gray. Scroll to the button and save, and straight away we can see the change. Before continuing here, I want to let you know that all of these changes we've done thus far won't be finalized until we click this publish button in the bottom right. If we exit the editor in any other way, our changes will not be saved, so please bear that in mind. To add a new theme, we can choose to base it on that light or dark theme we've already seen. Here your choice should be dependent on whether your colour scheme will generally be dark or light to make sure your text contrasts with the background. Our first method is the quickest way. Here we'll be using the single base method in which we only need to choose a single colour for our exchange. Here I will choose a dark green colour and name the theme Forest. Save and confirm that and now we can see our exchanges theme option has changed to a drop down menu and switching to the new theme our entire exchange changes to that chosen dark green. Next up we are going to add a theme called Ocean. No prizes for guessing what this colour is going to be. Again we'll select the colour we want for the background but this time we're going to use this modify theme breakdown option here to get a little more control over it. Here we have four options and can set them between zero and one. Zero will set the color of this element to the background color. Increasing the decimal value will make it progressively darker until one in which black will be the color of the element. So I will set my ocean theme here, save it and confirm it. Changing to the ocean theme, now we can see my sidebar menu is darker in color than my background and that the top bar is completely black as I left this at one. Our final option is more powerful compared to the two we just looked at, but it will require a little more work than those. So again, we'll add another theme, this time though, we're going to use the separated base option in which we can tailor each element group to exactly what we want. 
This new theme I'm going to call Byzantine, so if you know what colour is going to be used, top marks in history. But just before we get into that, I want to show you a few resources that can assist you in your colour choice. These two slides give a breakdown of what element will be changed with each option. The boxes corresponding to the text colour. Feel free to pause here and use these screens as you're editing your exchange to help map out your own theme choice. One more tool that could be of use is the website Cooler. We can use this to generate color palettes. Our first option here is to use a spacebar and just generate random palettes. Another option that I personally prefer is to look at the gallery and find the most popular palettes at the moment and then look and find a combination we like. Here I have found a harmonizing blue color palette and going back to the gallery I find a more contrasting pastel color palette. We can then copy the colors, bring them back to our exchange and use them in our new theme. Going back to the exchange page now, congratulations if you knew we were going to use purple as this was the color worn by the Roman emperors. Honestly, I just wanted an excuse to use purple because it's my favorite. Pasting in the hex or RGB codes for each element, we can begin to set up our new theme. So having a look at it so far, it's looking very regal as I'm sure you'll agree. Scrolling down though, we can see that now the percentages and graphs here in the market aren't very clear. So we'll go back into the edit menu and make them contrast a little more. Straight away we can see it's a lot more visible and here is how our new theme looks on the market page. Our last tab here at the bottom is all graphics. Here we can change the images our exchange has. This is fairly similar to the all string section, but this time instead of languages in the drop down, it's a list of our different themes. My first change will be to search for the security icon, this padlock we can see on the sidebar. I'm going to keep with my Roman theme and change it to a shield instead by clicking upload Here I changed the image of the icon entirely, but you may just want to change the colour of it to match the theme better. If we change it to the other themes, we can see the padlock icon remains. Another way we can change an image is by using this blue upload icon to open the editing menu for that graphic. Make sure we select this drop down and choose the theme we want the icon to be on. Here we'll go for another more period appropriate icon and change this wallet into a chest. Again, the sidebar icon has changed and we can also see the larger icon top middle of the screen has likewise changed. In the same way, using the blue upload icon, we can change our coin icons. Here I'm going to use an image I edited earlier and change our Bitcoin logo. And we can see how that change is reflected throughout our whole exchange. We can also change our logo. This too will be reflected throughout the exchange. Here I'm going to continue with my Roman aesthetic for the theme and I've got a specific logo for this. But this could be useful if you just wanted to recolor your logo depending on what theme your user is using. We can see that in the top left and also if we go on the Pro Trade screen in the header. The last change we will do is our exchanges quote, which we find here on the pro trade screen under the logo. I'm going to change it to a famous Latin quote, 
an A star if you know who said it and what they were saying. And with this last change, we will save and then make sure to publish all of our changes. And now we have customized our exchange fairly extensively, all without having to write a single line of code, fortunately. So have fun playing around with these tools and spend some time getting the specific look you want and good luck with the future of your exchange.